Howdy y'all. As you know, easter eggs are little secrets that developers hide, often in plain sight, that can include references, jokes, or other surprises. You might think six years of playing No Man's Sky by millions of players would yield dozens of such secrets, at least. However, the vast scale of the game's procedural universe actually makes finding easter eggs more difficult than you'd expect. In fact, just putting together this list of 20 easter eggs was like a massive undertaking requiring extensive research and field study. However, I do believe I may have just assembled the best list of its kind so far. At least I hope so. I'm Kanaju, and these are 20 easter eggs found in No Man's Sky. Number 1. Lemium Fans of English rock band Motorhead may notice that Lemium sounds suspiciously similar to Lemmy, the band's lead singer and co-founder. That's no accident, as revealed by Will Porter, a writer on No Man's Sky, back in 2016. Following the death of Lemmy in 2015, the writer was given the opportunity to come up with fictional elements for the up-and-coming universe, and soon realized he also had an opportunity to immortalize one of his favorite musicians. Originally described as a heavy metal element in the original item description, today Lemmium has survived multiple cullings and revisions to No Man's Sky's periodic table, ensuring that it will forever remain a tribute to one of Rock's greats. Number 2. Traveler Has Wares Whether you've played The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim or not, you've no doubt encountered the phrase Khajiit Has Wares, if you have coin. Hello Games was certainly aware of the meme when they added a traveler who states, Traveler Has Wares, if you have units. This screenshot in particular happens to feature a traveler with, with a very cat-like appearance but it's just as likely you'll find a traveling merchant that looks much different. Now, I also recall having seen an NPC somewhere, maybe on a freighter, that gave up adventuring after taking a blaster bolt to the knee, but for the life of me, I couldn't find a screenshot or footage of it, so it's 100% possible that I uh, dreamt it. <laughs> yeah, I need to sleep more. Number 3. Squeaky Pockets This one I found pretty much by accident. So normally when using the need resources emote, you'll just patch your pockets and kind of shrug. However, about every third time you do it, you'll actually get something a little different. Take a listen. For whatever reason, <laughs> it sounds like I have like a squeaky toy in my pockets or something. It's definitely one of the more random easter eggs on this list. And honestly, I don't know what it means. Number 4. Trophy and Achievement Names So it's no secret that Hello Games were inspired by all manner of sci-fi media when creating No Man's Sky. And this is perhaps most obvious when reading the game's trophy list, which is chiefly comprised of titles of famous science fiction books. So many in fact that I'm simply clumping them together into a single item for this list. These include Half Space Suit Will Travel, The Stars Like Dust, A Scanner Darkly, Babel 17, The Languages of Pow, and many more. A Space Odyssey seems to point to Stanley Kubrick's motion picture classic, while Total Perspective Vortex is taken from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy book series. Speaking of which, number 5, Babelfish. The journey milestone that you attain for learning 150 alien words is called Babblefish. It seems to be named after the fish from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which allows you to understand alien languages when it's placed in your ear. An NPC interaction of similar nature also occurs within the game, but I don't have the footage on hand, so you'll just have to take my word on that one. Number 6. Abyssal Poster So, let's keep things brisk with a lightning round of posters. First up is the Abyssal poster, which upon first glance seems pretty obviously inspired by the iconic poster for Jaws, the 1975 Spielberg blockbuster. Of course, a couple of changes had to be made to fit the No Man's Sky universe, but it's pretty clear what they were going for. Next up, we have number 7, the Milk poster. Now this one might be a little more obvious for those who are familiar with the famous Got Milk campaign of the 90s and 2000s. It was pretty successful, like seriously successful, so countless parodies have permeated pop culture for decades. But in perhaps the greatest plot twist of all time, this poster actually translates to not milk. <laughs> pretty cheeky. Number 8. The Keen Poster 
Now, if you thought turning dot milk into not milk was genius, just wait until I reveal what No Man's Sky did to Snug as a Bug on a Rug. This poster actually reads, <clears throat> Keen as a bean for Viking. Now, if you're wondering what the hell that means, allow me to direct your attention to these little beans at the top of the poster. Haha, <laughs> distraction. Number 9, The Photographer. Leaving posters behind, now let's talk travelers. During your adventures, you may happen across a traveler that states, I know I'm somewhere far away, but I thought that's an opportunity to express myself, isn't it? I could show others sites they've never seen before, that only I will ever see. And they'll show you an album of photos taken with a variety of filters and ask to take your photo. While this might sound like it could be a reference to like any photographer, it's actually a reference to the game's recently improved photo mode, because this interaction was added in the Atlas Rises update, which followed the Pathfinder update, which famously included tons of filters for photo mode. So while it may seem like I'm kind of grasping at straws here, at the time it was actually a lot more obvious. So, number 10, Player Communities. A few years ago, Hello Games added banners and decals of several player communities into the game as a way of showing appreciation to their most dedicated fans. While those might be considered easter eggs themselves, I'm here to tell you about the original player community reference. Another one of those mischievous travelers you encounter can be found advertising the Rentoknijik Expanse, a region of space, and specifically they named Drogador NO425 as their quote-unquote throne world to our thriving community of interdimensional anomalies. This may not make sense today, but during the Pathfinder era, the Rentoknijik Expanse was home to the Galactic Hub Project, the most famous of all No Man's Sky in-game civilizations. Drogrador NO425 was their capital planet at that time too. So this was a pretty exciting easter egg for those familiar, as it was the first acknowledgement of player civs by the developers. I'm not sure if they've updated the text to reflect the current region and capital planet, but if you've seen this recently, do let me know in the comments below. Number 11, Solith Prime. Speaking of extinct planets, during 2020's narrative-driven weekend missions, you would sometimes speak to Iteration Mercury about the task at hand. And in one such interaction, they mention, quote unquote, the voice of the static is intoxicating. Staring into the rift is like a window into a dream. I see Solith Prime. I see how I once was an earlier version, and I feel raw, like the dream is looking back at me. Solith Prime was a planet that was pretty famous pre-release for its inclusion in the somewhat infamous but very popular E3 2014 gameplay trailer. It also made its way into other pre-release gameplay demonstrations. So Mercury's Dream seems to directly reference that earlier version of the game. At the time, a lot of players were expecting this to mean that Hello Games was somehow gonna add a bunch of pre-release planets in an upcoming update. And of course that didn't happen exactly like that, but we did get the Origins update later that year, which good enough for me. Number 12, Mind Blown. <laughs> Heading to the Quicksilver shop, we have another emote easter egg. I hope you're ready to get your mind blown by this one. You see, this isn't just some ordinary mind blown emote. This one is specifically modeled after possible god, Sean Murray. Check out this clip from Game Informer's 2014 Rapid Fire interview to see what I mean. Is there a god in this game? No. Well, maybe that's us. Wait. <gasps> <laughs> Are you uncomfortable? Yeah. Number 13, Blob. When Bonus. decals were added in the Pathfinder update, they were only obtainable by visiting another player's base. No small feat without functional portals. Your reward was one of a few special decals to place in your base. These included this green blob fella. Eagle-eyed viewers may recognize this blob from its corresponding player banner, this buildable terrarium, and my famous collection of expensive statues. However, you might not understand why it's so beloved to begin with. Well, let's just say that before the game came out, IGN's 2016 video, A Tour of Five Beautiful Planets, made quite the impression. Yeah, that little guy was memed to hell and back. <laughs> I remember seeing him everywhere uh, just prior to and after the game's release. So it was pretty cool that Hello Games, you know, took something that people were kind of making fun of 
and sort of made it an icon of the game. Sort of an inside joke for those who have been there since the beginning. And in case you're thinking, wait, that blob doesn't look exactly like the one in the video. Well, believe it or not, if you look at the No Man's Sky subreddit, there's a blob flare, and it's clearly just like a crop screenshot from that video. So while it's not the exact blob, that is for sure the one that inspired it. Number 14, Curious Fauna. Have you ever wondered where this little beauty came from? Well, believe it or not, this was also based on a vintage meme circa 2016. This time though, the screenshot was taken from an article titled The 20 Most Hideous No Man's Sky Creatures You'll Ever See. As you've probably noticed, Hello Games tend to embrace their community in unusual ways. And thus, this meme became immortalized as both a decal and a banner. Number 15, Wayward Cube. Speaking of Hello Games paying attention to their community, you may have been confused by the Wayward Cube as a reward for the Blighted Expedition. Its description reads, This cubic life form drifted into an orbital station from another reality, where it was captured by a traveling merchant. That might sound like the dumbest origin story ever for what appears to be one of the dumbest expedition rewards ever. However, it's actually based on a true story. Many of you likely encountered the Wayward Cube back when it was actually floating around space stations, prior to the Sentinel Patch 3.81. Of course, this was just a bug, but the community grew attached to the thing and mourned its disappearance. So, Hello Games, being the good guys that they are, gave the people what they wanted. Also, if you were wondering, the cube's name is Jeff. Number 16, Sultans of Ping. Now this one is an odd one. Paul Weir, audio director on No Man's Sky, created three new bike beat tracks for the Quicksilver shop back in 2021. Nemesis 101, Coastline Will Remember You, and Sultans of Ping. To be honest, they all sound like easter eggs, but I couldn't tell you what they are actually in reference to. Even Sultans of Ping, which seems really obvious, actually evades me. Is it a reference to Sultans of Swing? The song Sultans of Ping by Delta Sleep? The band Sultans of Ping FC? I'm actually not sure to be honest, but it seems pretty obvious that it's a reference to one of these. If you've confirmed any of these yourself, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to see uh, what it's actually in reference to. Number 17, the Normandy. I originally wasn't going to include the Normandy since it's big enough to get its own trailer. However, since Sean specifically referred to it as an Easter egg, I believe that's actually the only time he's ever done so, I couldn't not include it on this list. So yeah, if you missed the SSV Normandy SR1 from Mass Effect, it is officially in the game. I might even consider it canon. Fans of the original Mass Effect will likely notice that the frigate's attributes and stats are actually easter eggs in and of themselves, from the internal emission sink to the times damaged one. Hello Games put a lot of love into this easter egg. Number 18, the Titanic Trophy. To be honest, I'm not sure if this is an easter egg or bug, but considering no other building part does this, that I know of, I'll consider it an easter egg. <laughs> so you see, if you punch this titanic trophy skull, it'll give you carbon. Seemingly forever. Uh, yeah, I don't get it either. It's cool though. Number 19, The Conqueror. No Man's Sky is filled to the brim with different game mechanics. However, it really doesn't have any mini games per se. That is, except for the world's shortest text adventure game. The Conqueror. Available in select GEC archives, this text adventure, which is oddly titled The Conqueror, is as follows. Uh, spoiler alert, I guess, but you know, I wouldn't worry about it. So it goes, the poor Wiggles have escaped the spawning pool. Do you go left or go right? If you go left, the Zancraft devours you. Game over. If you go right, the poor Wiggles are saved and become your pets. Continue. And if you choose to transcend space-time, you're rewarded with the knowledge that there is no winning or losing, only infinite sadness. And it also comes with an unsure game over question mark. It's pretty cool throwback to retro text adventure games, and I hope we get more like it in the future. All right, finally, number 20 is the Space Anomalies Discovery Date. 
If you were to take your analysis visor and scan the space anomaly itself, you would find that it was originally discovered by Polo on December 31st, 1969. This date may seem impossible, but it's actually a reference to the old Unix default timestamp, which actually is January 1st, 1970, but it displays as December 31st, 1969 in the Western Hemisphere, you know, due to time zones. This is a fascinating easter egg in that it may shed some light on the actual nature of certain things within the No Man's Sky universe. I could say more, but I don't want to spoil anything for new players. Also, the time may or may not display differently on your system, depending on your time zone. I haven't actually checked, so let me know in the comments below if you get something else when you scan it. But that's it! 20 easter eggs of every shape and size found in No Man's Sky over the years. Which was your favorite? Did any take you by surprise? Did I miss one? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, leaving a like lets both me and YouTube know that my hours of research and editing were not in vain. And if video game deep dives, especially about No Man's Sky, are your thing, subscribing is free and it really helps me out. In addition to this video, I'm also compiling a list of instances where Hill games seem to take inspiration from other sci-fi franchises such as Star Wars or Cowboy Bebop, but I'm saving those references for another video. <laughs> not to mention there are plenty of other ideas I haven't shared yet, but you might miss all of them if you're not subscribed. I mean, YouTube might put it in your homepage anyways if you like this video, but why take the risk? Secure your future today! Anyways, thanks everyone for the continued support. We're at nearly 8k subscribers as of me recording this, so thank you so much for making my passion such a success, and I hope you'll stick around for what's next. Also, I apologize if the audio, or specifically my voice, sounds kind of weird <laughs> today. Um, I've, this is actually the second time I try recording this, but my voice has been kind of shot lately, but I can't like put the video off too long because I've been really excited to make this video, so... Hopefully it sounds okay, I, I won't know until I listen to it, but if my voice sounds a little raspy, I apologize. So, <laughs> regardless, thanks again for your support, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!